today I am going to show you exactly how to make edible sugar glass. I've done it in a few other videos, so this will just be your how-to on how to make this anytime you want. So follow along. To start our sugar glass, obviously we need sugar. So I have two cups of sugar I'm going to pour in, and then I have about half a cup of light corn syrup that I will pour in with it. And lastly, I have about three fourths a cup to a whole cup of water. And then I will just stir this while turning my heat on medium high. I am just going to bring this to a boil, but also stirring until my sugar is nice and dissolved. It has been about three minutes now and my sugar is almost dissolved but it's a nice smooth liquid so I can stop stirring consistently and I am going to go ahead and put my candy thermometer on the side of my bowl and at this point it's a waiting game. I'm gonna wait until this reaches 300 degrees and then we can move on to pouring it. My sugar has reached 300 degrees so I'm going to work quickly and move my pans over. And then I just have parchment paper sheets that I am going to scrunch up after my sugar is poured. I'm just gonna do a few in the clear without coloring it. And I am going to do this very, very carefully so that I'm not burning myself. Otherwise, a hospital visit would be in your near future. And then once these are on, I can kind of spread it out a little bit. And then go back and ruffle my parchment paper and just clip so that they have some movement. Now that my clear ones are already laid out and starting to cool, I am going to use black because the cake I'm doing needs this to be black, but you can use any color you'd like. So I'm just gonna take little drops of my food coloring and just drop them in different parts of my sugar. This way I get a little bit of a marbled effect when I stir it. So. I'll just do a few swirls. Leaving it really marbled still. And then lay my sheets out and pour. that I have some marbled as well, I'm gonna go ahead and put another good chunk of my food coloring in, and this time stirring it all the way through so that I have one solid color. Okay, now that my glass is drying, you can see I have quite the mess in my pot, which if you do this, you will have the same thing. So the easiest way that I have found to clean this pot is just go ahead and pour water right on top and then turn my heat back on medium and let this melt down the sugar that's already in it. Now that my water has been boiling for probably five minutes, I am going to turn the heat off and move over to the sink to pour this out and wash my clock. Now that you know exactly how to make sugar glass as well, you can hear the same snap that I do when you do it right. So if you enjoyed learning how to make these, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so we can change the world one cake at a time. Bye.